Hello, you YouTubers. Um, I got something I want to share with you. My um, some of the uh, vinyl I picked up recently at all the thrift stores. So we're going to write through it. Um, Christmas has just passed, and I was able to pick up uh, the Frank Sinatra, uh, A Jolly Christmas, and this is a special European pressing, um, and it's on capital label, but the pre-rainbow uh, label, so it's very old. I played it, and it sounds, it sounds really good. This is another Sinatra um, classic. 1950s album. Now this is a later pressing that's uh, on the rainbow uh, label, uh, capital label, but the, the vinyl's in very good shape along with the uh, album cover and it has the still has the plastic over it. So I was lucky to get that for a buck and a half. Boy, all you old school country and westerners out there, the Ernest Tubb Golden Favorites and with his Texas Troubadours. Uh, so I'm looking forward to playing that. We're gonna we, now we've got some ethnic music, uh, music of Romania. Isn't that a cool cover? I always like to uh, uh, pick up um, some uh, music from the uh, other parts of the world. Frank Yakovich, polka. I'm looking forward to playing that. And what's so cool is they got uh, his other albums on here. Love that cover. Going back to the Sinatra days, but done in a, a, a newer style, is uh, Linda Ronstadt's uh, For Sentimental Reasons, and I picked this up for $1.50. Mint condition vinyl. I'm looking forward to playing this. Ricky Nelson, the old teen, eight, uh, teen idol who was on Ozzy and Harriet, and I'm not going to pick up that call. Um, anyway, this is uh, one of his uh, albums, uh, Country Favorites, Rick Nelson, and it's on, um, oh, shut up, phone. It's on the old Decca label, too, and the vinyl's in great shape. Perfect. See? I just love the old labels and stuff like that. Frankie Lane, and he sung the theme song to Rawhide. So, I, I love this cover of him dressed up as a cowboy. I mean, he looks really tough, but, you know, gentle, too. They've got Rawhide, High Noon, Wanted Man, Cool Water, uh, along the Navajo Trail, all those Western themes. Uh, another, Frank, another Frank Sinatra. This is great stuff here. Um... Pre Capital Rainbow. I'm going to kill that phone. Call back. Bye. <laughs> so rude. Yeah, you got all these uh, old sleeve, inner sleeves with the albums of its time, you know, you know, for adults, for teeny boppers, and all that. Yeah, check this one out. Uh, Prompt, uh, Las Vegas style, Prama style, Lu Louis Prama and Keely Smith. And she's a actually a Norfolk native, was born in Norfolk. So some Vegas style music from the 50s. Cool stuff. Ray Price, Greatest Hits, one of the great country singers. And it still has the wrapping on it, so I'm looking forward to hearing that. I, I love the, all this uh, old country music. Red Foley, companies come in Red Foley. Uh, the Methodist Pie, we live in two different worlds. Georgia Town Blues, you know, those type of titles. Uh, some, some more cowboy music. Um, Roy Rogers and Dell Evans with... Ranch Hands, uh, directed by Mitch Miller, and really some neat artwork of, uh, you got that? Good. Al Jolson. I was fortunate enough to pick this up at a thrift store, and if you don't know who Al Jolson was, he was, you know, kind of st style singing, oh, mommy, you know, he, he did the, the blackface. 
and was actually starred in the first talking movie. Uh, Neil Young, Live Rust. I was so happy to get this, and I already recorded a couple of tracks, put, put it on my iTunes, and was able to clean up the vinyl pretty well. For all you local people, the evening of music with the 1963-64 choir, Granby High School, Norfolk, Virginia. Ooh, what about that? And it has some information on how it was recorded, a picture of the choir. So this is really cool. Um, I'm going to post that on Facebook. I grew up in Norfolk. Some vintage 60s folk music, the Kingston Trio. Now, you can find a lot of Kingston Trio albums at the thrift store, but they're usually in bad shape. But this one's almost in perfect shape. The vinyl's good, and it's on the uh, Capital Rainbow. What about that? Hmm. Couple of good shirts early Chicago albums here and what's so cool about this one besides the sound being so good it has the original posters of the, of the group this is so cool all of them you see what's up what I find it so weird is they didn't put the names at the bottom and the group complained years later that uh, they didn't get their pictures on their albums so I don't know why they didn't put the names. Another Chicago album, and these albums, this is actually a double one, but these albums contain a number of, of their hits. And the thing about Chicago, they were, they're best known for their, their singles, okay? But they made great albums, too. An early Joni Mitchell album, and I have some more. Uh, I picked this up recently. This is really cool, and it contained one of her famous songs, um, Big Yellow Taxi. They kind of an environmental song, you know, they tore down paradise and they put up a parking lot, so the lyrics goes. I showed you this album earlier, and um, this one right here is in mono, where the one I showed you earlier is in stereo, okay? Another western type of theme here, Cool Water, uh, Sons of the Pioneers. And I, I put that on iTunes, it sounded great, just good relaxing, on, you know, type of cowboy music. Oh, this is cool. Nat King Cole, roll out those lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer. So, some retro beach scene, scenes there. Roll out those crazy. My man again, love is the thing. The voice of Nat King Cole. Um, of course, the, uh, the, the, <coughs> the 60s, uh, Folk music was very big, and here's a person who kind of came out of that into her own. Judy Collins, and an album called Who Knows Where the Good Times Go. And um, Stephen Stills is actually plays on this album. I think they were going together for a while. And this album was made in um, 1968. <coughs> so that's cool. What about some, going back to ethnic music, some, <coughs> you got, excuse me, I've had a cough lately, some Hawaiian music. This is really cool. This is, uh, I can't pronounce the name, Wat Stinas meets the Kula, you know, Hawaiian name. And th this is a, a, a European pressing, so it sounds very good. I... When I saw this cover, I just nearly died. Um, down at P Peon's place. Check that cover out. And I looked up this guy. He was actually a popular singer, and he got out of the music business and opened up a famous restaurant in New York City that thrived for many, many years. It was a famous, popular uh, spot. But this guy has a great voice, Italian voice. and It's just wonderful, and I love the cover. 
Okay, five minutes? Okay, we can do it in five minutes. I was lucky enough, I struck gold recently with some great West Montgomery uh, albums. And he, he is the famous jazz guitarist who unfortunately passed away of a heart attack in 1968. And he recorded for numerous labels, but check that cover out. That is classic. Liner notes in the back end, and the vinyl is in great condition. Another one of his albums, Tequila. That's great. Again, liner notes. They used to have liner notes all the time in the back. This is a Peter, Paul, and Mary album, and it still has the wrapper on it. It's like brand new, and it has a, a the store sticker 225, and the vinyl's in great shape. This was a, this was a good find. West Montgomery again one of his more commercial albums. Towards the end, you know, California Dreaming, he was cutting some commercial songs instead of hardcore jazz stuff and um, selling it actually a little, little bit better. And another one of those in that same line, Going Out of My Head, which is very cool. Here's one, um, West Montgomery, again, West Montgomery Trio on Riverside, which is considered his best recording period among jazz enthusiasts, you know. Bill Cosby. I can't do Bill Cosby, but this is one of his comedy albums I found in mint condition. And um, so I'm looking forward to putting that on and having some laughs. And, you know, we discussed um, Frank Sinatra earlier. Well, here's one of his counterparts, and of course, Part of the uh, Rat Pack was Sammy Davis Jr. An album called um, Sings and My Reading's Bad and So and So Plays. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. So those are my recent thrift store finds. All those albums there, I paid no more than a buck or a buck fifty, uh, uh, price of a candy bar and maybe a soda. So good value and I enjoy playing them. That's it.